It was a shorter weekend than anticipated, but the Mason City Toros made the most of it. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Norman and it's time for your Toros Report for Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Mason City is coming off a 6-0 win over the New Ulm Steel this past Saturday at the Mason City Arena. The Toros struck for two goals in all three periods and Shota Kaneko led the way with a goal and three assists. Owen Carlson stopped all 26 shots that he faced to earn his second shutout of the season and the Toros third as a team. The Toros were set to play the Steel twice this past weekend, but last Friday's game was snowed out and travel complications made that one have to be rescheduled to a later date. Make sure to stay tuned to MasonCityToros.com for an announcement on when that game will be made up. Shifting focus to this coming weekend, the Toros are on the road to take on their rival, the Granite City Lumberjacks. Granite City has torn through the NA3HL this season, winning 31 of their first 32 games. The Lumberjacks have won 27 consecutive games and haven't lost since October 1st, which was against the Toros. Mason City is also the only team to take the Lumberjacks to overtime, with that Toros loss coming on October 30th. Though the Toros are the only team to pick up any points against the Lumberjacks this season, they have lost three of the four meetings and are looking to even up the season series this weekend. As you might expect, the season series between these two teams has been very tight. Yes, Granite City has won three of the four meetings, but three of the four games between Mason City and Granite City have been decided by two goals or less. If the Toros are hoping to walk away with four points this coming weekend, they're going to have to change a recent trend. Mason City has won seven of its last eight games, but Saturday's game against New Ulm was the first since December 22nd in which the Toros outshot their opponent as they held a 33-26 advantage over the Steel. Mason City had been outshot in each of the first four games since the NA3HL showcase, but had only lost one of those games. Mason City has been outshot in all four games against Granite City this season and have had 20 or fewer shots in each game. Both games this weekend can be seen on Hockey TV with an active subscription, and you can also follow along for game highlights and much more on Toro's social media. The Toros won't be back home again until February 11th and 12th here at the Mason City Arena when they will take on the Minnesota Loons. There's several great packages to take advantage of, and you can take advantage of those right now by heading over to masoncitytoros.com. Well, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in for this week's Toros Report. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our videos the next few days. A couple of Toro Talks coming up, both with head coach Nick Bruneto and a player coming up tomorrow. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Joel Norman.